the bed. That is definitely the bed. Really? We're hiding from the vet. Huh. Path opened up. Why is my mouse on the screen? Um, I'm just gonna move it out or something. Okay. Um, anyway. That was a thing. Uh, I guess we can just go down here and we're back in our room? Okay. Guess we're going to do homework. Oh, hey, alarm clock. Great. Yeah, we're definitely in our room. I guess we go to school. Hi, Birdie. Okay. Uh... Right. Anyways, let's just go on our way to school. We are going to school again. And back into our classroom, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Okay. And wait, where is everyone? Oh, it's that vet! Hi! Bye! We're gonna run! And hide in one of the classrooms. Oh my god, is this a Scooby-Doo thing? It is! Oh my god! <laughs> ah! I feel so bad for our team. It is a Scooby-Doo thing! <laughs> oh my god... IDEA! Hey! I'm over here and I'm... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh... Uh... What the? What's going on? What was that? Um, okay. I guess we'll just go back now. What the heck was that? <laughs> I don't even know what's going on anymore. We are back in our room. Maybe he's feeling he's feeling guilty about the bird. Yeah, you know I'm just gonna assume that's it. Anyways, there's the bird. Can it fly yet? Seems not. Oh, hi storm. Where's the bird staying in the storm anyway? In the tree, of course. Um, well, you really shouldn't be, <laughs> you, yeah, never mind. So, how's the bird? And it's wing. Okay, yeah, he was definitely feeling guilty about taking the bird. And not listening to the vet. Oh look, time for school! Again! Or at least I think that's it, yeah. Yeah, okay, sure. Alright, here we go again. Time! Either we're going to school or we're going to the vet. Another note from our parents. Saying it's raining! 
So we should bring an umbrella. Do not forget your umbrella this time. Because you already know it's raining. And I'm going to assume you're going to the vet. Or school. Which one is it going to be? Well. Crossing the street. Oh. I can go, right? Okay, I can go. I thought it would turn red, but no, it's just going to blink yellow. And... This is... On the way to the bed. Yep, definitely. This is definitely on the way to the bed. Hi! I, uh... Came to apologize. Please don't hurt the bird. <laughs> I mean, I know you won't, but... That's probably what this kid is thinking. I can only walk left. All the memories I've experienced with this bird. I won't be able to see the bird again. Kid. I don't even know his name, I just realized. And he ran again. He grew is so attached to the bird that he doesn't want to let it go. Oh, is that the teacher? Yeah. He doesn't really have a place to hide. He's gonna make another airplane? Okay. I'm surprised he managed to make it that you and that fine. I'm surprised he managed to make it that fast though. Yeah, this is this is physically impossible, so I'm just gonna assume that this is a dream sequence and move on. <laughs> Is that part? Oh my god, we're flying through a storm. This is not good. We're flying through a storm. I'm just gonna fly straight. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. We might crash. No. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, there's no way I'm avoiding all this lightning. So, uh, I assume this is gonna be inevitable that we're gonna crash. Oh yeah, it's definitely inevitable now. Oh my god. Will we make it? Nope. <laughs> no! Okay, I... I know this type of story has been told before, you know, with the bird and, uh, you know, it with, the, uh, with the bird and the child, like, taking it home to take care of it after the bird has been injured. But I did not expect this ending. It, it, this, uh, uh, this, um, wait, is the game almost over? I assume it's almost done. But I did not expect, like, it to take such a really dark turn near the end. Oh my god, what happened? Is he okay? Please tell me he's okay. He's alive at least, but where's the bird? Please tell me the bird's okay. Well... Well? Well? Birdie? Are you here? I don't even know which direction I'm supposed to go. Hello? 
think I'm supposed to... Okay, there's my backpack. Birdie? I hear it! Wait, is that? Is the bird dead or not? No, birdie. Birdie, why? Birdie. Now he doesn't have his bird companion. I mean, he has some. He was able to play with friends, with like some kids in the park, but. Birdie. Birdie, why? I assume you're, we're supposed to go right. Um, yeah. Looks like it. I just felt a transition just now. first met it there's still a scrap of paper from that paper airplane uh, that giant paper airplane we made another path okay let's follow it side that we hang out. Uh, am I stuck on a bush? Okay. Another path is opening up. And we're back home. Back at our apartment. time are either of you gonna step away from each other guess not you just fade to black oh my god this music this music is it helps the tone so well it's like oh my god the feels the details actually getting there's less detail as I keep moving here. Or in, in that area at least. Maybe this memory is starting to fade. Turns on the light. There's a note from our parents on the fridge. Giant paper airplane he made, and he's hoping 
that the bird comes back home, but it seems like the bird never will. Will it? Place the pages one by one. Or is he gonna he made a he made a small paper airplane again? The room is now in black and white and no line detail. Except for the book and all of its pages. sound it's like really early in the morning or maybe late I'm not sure but I hear a bird did the bird come back okay time to find out let's go let's just go outside oh my god the bird came back this is the same bird, right? Hey! Oh my god! And it has a friend! Oh my god! And it can fly! Oh my god! There's the happy ending that I was expecting. <laughs> Wait, you're asking me to fly with you? Can I? Uh, well, first I'm gonna remove the band-aid. But still, can't help but be happy. Paper airplane? Aww. Oh, my God, this is adorable. But now that you have recovered, I guess this really is goodbye. All right. Be free, my bird friend. Oh my god, I just I just uh, I just got an achievement saying that I uh, that I um I beat the game. Oh my god. That is such a cute story. Ah. Okay, enough gushing. But seriously, that was so cute. Holy crap. I mean, like I said before, this type of story has been told before. Like, I remember either hearing it or probably I read it. I read a similar story sometime during my childhood. I, I say that like I'm like 50, but I'm... <laughs> no, I'm, I'm only like... I'm actually almost 20. Which is very hard to believe, but still. Anyways. Um... Yeah. It's just so cute. Holy crap. Oh my god. The bird has made, and now they're gonna have children, possibly, on an island. Oh my god, so cute! They're adorable! Hey, look at all the languages that you could play this game in. Sure enough, that's one of the islands. Oh my 
my god! I can't stop gushing. <laughs> this is so cute. We still have a paper airplane. <laughs> I wonder how this story actually ties into the sequel. Which, by the way, has actually been announced! Um, I would go into it more, but yeah. I might do that one blind too, just because this is so good. Oh my god. Sure enough, finding paradise. Like, as of recording this, coming one day. Coming? How about coming summer 2017? Because it will, according to the Steam page anyway. Oh my god. I wonder how, th I do wonder how this uh, this story here will play into the, uh, into uh, Finding Paradise but like I assume that the the point uh, the earliest point that will happen like I'm gonna put my mouse on the screen like right here that's gonna be like right after this game probably so I'm just gonna assume that because um if you, it, I'm gonna uh, if you don't know like the story of like to the moon basically it's about uh, basically it's the adventure of two doctors that go through people's memories trying to fulfill a dream on their deathbed uh, of the patient's deathbed I mean and like I said at the beginning of this series um, the boy in this game is going to be the patient for the next game. So, like I said, I do wonder how it, uh, how this story will play into the, uh, the next game, which is going to be the sequel to To the Moon. And yeah. Also, obviously, you don't need to... Uh, as far as I can tell, you don't need to play this game in order to understand the next one. But still it's nice to have a bit of backstory I guess and yeah as for what I was saying earlier while the credits were rolling um, I'm, I'm, I'm probably repeating myself at this point but like um, what am I trying to say uh, no seriously what am I trying to say holy crap I'm just so taken in holy crap um no, seriously, what was I going to say? <laughs> um, like... Like I said, this this story has... It, this type of story has been told before. I'm glad they... It, I'm glad they still kept their comedic... Uh, they still kept the small comedic effect that they had into the moon, as well as the amazing music. Holy crap. The music works so well with all of the scenes, and yeah, I I don't really know what else to say. But it's such an adorable story, and yeah, I'm just glad I could share it with you guys. Even if I, it, because of like me reading a similar story when I was a lot younger probably made it probably helped me predict what would happen still it was a pretty it was a pretty nice story to like play through so yeah um this is going this this project's probably going to be like the shortest project ever and uh, I'm just rambling at this point so uh, yeah, I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time for whatever game I play. So, this is Random Player 828, signing off. Yeah, I know, it's a totally different outro from what I normally say, but...
for this project, I'm gonna make an exception because, um, actually, the thing is, this project would have it, it I could have finished this in like an entire session, but um, this last episode is not part of the last session, so it ended up making it. Because I couldn't finish the game in the first session, so this is actually part of a second session, and it's only, like, one episode long. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, I'm just gonna shut up now. Bye!